Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zelus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce even the heart of a hummingbird, painted pigs, all of them. Help me! Someone help! Someone! Behold your God! Kill the gods for you! Too bad. I suppose it's against your nature. You are half one yourself, you know. No! Enough talking! Time to fulfill the prophecy!
Typhon fell to Phoenix's blade. Yes! Way to go, Phoenix! Prometheus, high five! Or do nothing. Alas, we could not create the perfect future together. But I bear you no ill will. For you have shown no fear. You deserve to know what I have known all along. With his final breath, he revealed the truth. Hermes is your father. What? Phoenix is a demigod? My... my father? Hermes? Eager to speak with Hermes and to see her brother restored despite his ill deeds, Phoenix began to climb out of the pit. If she got to the surface quickly enough, she could see everyone reanimated from stone. Well... I lost the bet. Brilliantly won, Prometheus. Just a few things aren't adding up. Pan is also Hermes' son. Yes. He has hooves. Phoenix, no hooves. You're right. And I just don't see what Typhon's plan was with the god-killing potion. He didn't even seem to use it. And you know, Phoenix definitely isn't going to see any mortals turn back. Because you're the one who turned them all to stone. Yeah, you and I fought about it right before... I went to Hades for that party. Pieces starting to fall into place. What did you do, Prometheus? You wouldn't see reason. So I set some events in motion. The storm that hit Phoenix's ship? I did that. Well, my brother Atlas did it for me. Wait, how did you say Typhon got free? I did it. But that was Atlas too. And this story? Mostly true. Until the end. It served its purpose, keeping you here with me. Typhon didn't steal your powers of prophecy. They're never better. Much better than your powers of memory. In fact, I once warned you, but you didn't listen, of course, that if a certain nymph was ever to have a child by you... Thetis. That child, eldest of Thetis and Zeus, would end you. But, but Phoenix was mortal. Phoenix was injured. Not once. I made that up. Despite the extreme heat, Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. No human could dream of holding that hammer. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Ash! No one can handle those bolts but me! No! It cannot be! Father of your line is not father of your kin. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown. In all high, it's time for you to come home. Hermes isn't Phoenix's father. Phoenix is my daughter! <laughs> <coughs> <sighs> Zeus! You turned the mortals to stone! It was you? It was me. So Typhon was telling the truth. Why? 
I shaped this, the fifth age of humanity, out of iron. I brought them to life. Generations passed, and I saw the pain, so carelessly dealt out, the cruelty, the decadent selfishness, and it was getting worse. I thought mortals were a failure, so I ended it. But I know now that I made a mistake. Who am I to judge imperfection? If I've learned one thing watching you save my children, it's that they are flawed. Mortals are exactly like the gods. In fact, we... I am worse. We'll all be better off without me. Oh. Yes! It is time to complete the prophecy. I am so proud of you. Promise me you'll be a better leader, but more importantly, a better parent. I know you're not perfect, but you're my dad, and that's what matters. You're not going to kill me? What? You, you thought you were getting out of this that easy? Saying you made a mistake is the first step. Now, to quote Ares, you have to actually be better. There are like five, maybe six steps. I'd say more like twelve. Life isn't a staircase or a charity race. You either get it right the first time, or you fall. Of course, he's still alive. It seems I overestimated you, little one. There are no second chances. Typhon, stop! No! Boom, we are, baby! Now. 